Hey there guys, Matt Guzman here, back with another video, and today's going to be about how to get the Cycling Merit Badge. So, 1A says to explain the most likely hazards you'll encounter while cycling, and what to anticipate or help prevent, mitigate, and respond to those hazards. Example, objects on the path, potholes, and other bikers. Morning. 1B says to know first aid for injuries or illnesses while cycling that include cuts, scratches, blisters, sunburn, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, hypothermia, dehydration, insect stings, tick bites, and snake bites. And if those sound familiar, they should because they're part of the first aid merit badge. And I made a separate video on that, but the first aid section here is like literally on almost every other merit badge that asks for like first aid. So you should probably get that merit badge or at least know the topics of those things first. Carrying on with cycling, 1B also says to explain why you should identify poisonous plants and poisonous animals found in your area. So that'd be like for you're supposed to be wary of dangers when biking and how to prevent those dangers from happening. 1C says to explain the importance of wearing properly sized and fitted helmets and wearing the right clothing for weather. And you're also supposed to know BSA safety guidelines. But before that, I'm going to show how a helmet should probably be fitted. Alright, so the BSA safety guidelines say that cyclists must wear properly fitted helmets, wear proper clothing, follow the safety rules in your area, and never ride in an unsafe manner. Number two says to clean and adjust a bicycle. Prepare for inspection and use bicycle safety checklists and be sure the bicycle meets all local laws. Three, show the bicycle for inspection. You have to point out adjustments and repairs that you have made. And three also says to do the following. Show all points needed in oiling regularly, and show points that they needed to be checked regularly to ensure the bicycle is safe to ride. It also says to show how to adjust brakes, seat level, and height, and steering tubes. Four, it says describe how to brake safely with foot brakes and with hand brakes. Five, it says show how to repair a flat by removing the tire replacing or patching a tube, or remounting tires. Six says to describe state and local bicycle traffic laws and to compare them with motor vehicle laws. Seven says using a BSA buddy system, complete requirements for one of these options, road biking or mountain biking. But as a side note, road biking is over 75 miles of cycling, so we don't want to do that. We want to do mountain biking, because in my opinion, mountain biking would probably be easier. So option B of mountain biking says for the first requirement, take a trail ride and demonstrate the following items. A, properly mount, pedal, and brake, including emergency stops. Show shifting skills as applicable to climbs and obstacles. Show proper trail etiquette to hikers or other cyclists, including when to yield the right of way. Hey guys. Morning. Morning. Show proper technique for riding up and down hills. 
E. Demonstrate how to correctly cross obstacles, either going over the obstacle on your bike, or dismounting the bike and crossing over slash around the obstacle. And the last one for F is cross rocks, gravel, and routes properly. Number two for option B says to describe the rules of trail riding, which include knowing when the trail is unsuitable for riding. So that'd be like for gaps in the road or potholes. Three says on trails approved by your counselor, take two rides of two miles each, two rides of five miles each, and two rides of eight miles each. You have to make reports of the rides taken and list the dates for routes traveled and interesting things you have seen while on those rides. And lastly, after fulfilling the previous requirement, number four says lay out a trail map of a 22 mile trip. It may include several trail systems if needed, but you must stay away from main highways and using your map, make this ride in six hours. So that one's the big one. So this is what you prepare up for by doing all the practice rides, which is like the two, two miles, two, five miles, etc. And the mountain biking last requirement is you're supposed to do the 22 mile trip. So in a second, I'm going to show footage of from when I did it. And also, it's the good thing about it is that you can enjoy the scenery or it's a really good workout. And this is, you should embrace it because this is the last thing you need to do before you get your merit badge. So here are the clips and I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed, please like the video and turn on notifications and look up for any other videos I have pertaining to merit badges or rank upgrades or a guide to an Eagle Scout. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!
and then the mountain biking last option i mean the the, 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 the,